And we're back, you guys. So let us continue with Metal Gear Solid 4. Today we're going to be fighting Raging Raven. And, uh... Yeah, this battle is not really that uh, hard. Uh, well, it really depends. Um, but the good thing about it is that if you don't have noodles or regains or... <clears throat> or, um... Or rations, you know, you shouldn't worry too much because right there in the stairs you can just go and hide and then just get your life back. Uh, but you know, the good thing about having rations in this video specifically is because, you know, what would it be a video of me just laying down, uh, you know, recharging every time, making the video even longer, so. I'm glad I have ways of keeping myself alive. Uh, the way that you can keep an eye on where Raving is flying is with the solid eye. I mean, you see a lot of dots, but uh, her dot is like really uh, bright next to the other ones. Uh, she does that when she sees you, starts blowing up the, the whole freaking place. But now she'll stand like she'll float really close to you uh, and that is where you have to take the opportunity and hurt her with whatever weapon you choose but I choose to use the M4 Customs grenade launcher the reason I do this is because when you throw a grenade at her she covers herself up doing it wrong right now. Let me, let me try and do it right. The first shot, she, first shot, she always manages to protect herself. But since the M4 Custom... Oh crap, I'm burning. <laughs> since the M4 Custom's grenade launcher uh, shoots really quickly, like it reloads really quickly, you can always just um, uh, wait for her to uncover herself. It, it kind of lats, uh, she covers herself for like, I'd say around 8 seconds or something like that, so you gotta like keep an eye, sort of, uh, try and measure the time that it takes for her to uncover. Right there she didn't cover herself, and again, I've been lucky so far, now she's covering, I shoot too early there, and boom, there we go. So this is how you do it basically. You can choose to just shoot at her with, you know, standard uh, weaponry like this, but it would just take longer. Let me uh, recharge, because so I was very close there to dying. Don't let your life gauge go too low, because after all, she's got a grenade launcher and it does a lot of damage. Uh, let me try and use the grenade launcher itself. Yeah, I don't know when she uncovers officially. There we go. So you can see I've got already a quarter of, like, almost half of her life. Ah, I think this is the part where she heats up. If you keep your solid eye, you can uh, spot her getting away, but at the same time, uh, you'll notice that in the distance, or she's hiding, the birds are gonna be, or, like, you know, surrounding the area. There she is. <laughs> uh, she does that, because since she's flying with a, like a rocket, uh, a rocket attached to the legs and the back, they start to heat up, and and it needs cooldown. So it's a really perfect time to shoot her from a distance and get a free shot. Uh, not all the time you'll get a chance like that. Sometimes uh, she sort of uh, hides in a really uh, like behind a building or something, so it's, so it's almost impossible to hit her. Um, but you can always try and, uh, uh, you can try out to, uh, take the opportunity, opportunity to recharge yourself. 
and uh, you know. So yeah, it's a really basic, really nice building battle. battle. <laughs> as long as you know know her moves, you should be all right. Uh, I need to. Uh, I usually I usually just let her spot me because otherwise she'll she'll just be flying around and I won't be able to to land a shot. Ah, darn it! Come on. Okay. Damn, the bird just flew in the way. Crap. <clears throat> oh, I buy a set of ten. Okay, here we go. Oh, don't go away. I think she's gonna do the, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, she sort of flies by and then starts, uh, shooting down the, uh, the whole place like a bunch of missiles or grenades. Oh great, now the birds are gonna be shooting at me. When you hear that, when you hear her say kill him, uh, the birds are gonna start sh uh, throwing grenades too, so it's really annoying. And I don't think they, they're, you know, I don't think they run out, I think the, those birds are like unlimited too. So at least you can get what you can get out of them is oops, you, what you can get out of them is the uh, the driving points at least. I did that once. I, I just stood here and I started shooting up at, at a bunch of birds. Because after you finish the game, it's a really uh, nice thing to have a lot of driving points to buy some of the special items and weapons. There's some really crazy um, weapons and uh, and items. Um, I mean, I think they're available right now, or they're available when you start the game again. <coughs> I still want, got one more left. Gotcha, biatch. Yeah, it's a really easy battle, like I said. <laughs> she's, like, deliberately letting herself get hit by me. Oh, she's gonna do it again. The, uh, hiding thing. So, as you can see, you, as soon as you equip your solid eye, you'll see where she went. Saw her go that way, so... Spin around a bit. She does that. Alright. So let's take a look. There are the birds. There she is. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Come here now. No time for a cool down. I think now she's gonna go a little a little bit crazier than usual. Since uh she's almost dead. Um uh, where the hell she go? Come back. Whoa. Ugh. one of the birds. Alright. Let's do this. Darn it. <laughs> there we go. 
go. We did it! Uh, yeah, the transition from dark to light kind of messes up the imagery. Alright, so, um, I'm not gonna try and get the, uh, masks, because I already show you how with the first one, uh, and they're really not useful, or at least I don't think so. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, take care of her. At least now you'll see the difference between killing them or putting them to sleep, but it's just so difficult to do it that I just don't want to like try it I just want to get this thing over with but like I said before like I taught you with the first battle if you take care of her um, you know if, if you if you take care of her stamina bar by putting her to sleep with either physical attacks or, or tranquilizers then you'll get her face, uh, face camel. Well, her actual face. There we go.
Way to bring that bird down, Snake. Drebin. And you got yourself a souvenir, too. A grenade launcher. Nice. That's a real user-friendly weapon. Not much use to me without an ID, though. I laundered this one free of charge. What's the catch? Only that you give it to me when you're done with it. A weapon with that many decades of rage stored up inside it? Now that's a collector's item. How old was she? I'd say about 20. But she had years of soldiers' rage hidden away in that youthful body of hers. Soldiers? Yeah, the soldiers of Ake. A place that hasn't seen peace in a long, long time. She was captured by one side or another, and kept caged up like an animal, along with God knows how many other kids. Anonymous violence. Exactly. It's unknown whether her captors were with the government or the rebels. In any case, they got their kicks by abusing these helpless little kids day after day after day. That constant barrage, that battlefield rage slowly built up inside their bodies, their minds. The kids tried to keep each other's spirits up, always clinging to the hope that someone would come to their rescue, barely surviving off of scraps of food. But those soldiers didn't stop. They called the kids parasites and shit-eating ravens. Beat them even harder. Then one morning, the soldiers just up and left, leaving the surviving kids to be eaten alive by the birds. Almost like one of those sky burials. One by one, their bodies were picked apart by ravens' beaks. Until finally, the flock came for her. But by some miracle, their beaks cut her bonds instead. And like that, she was liberated. But in that instant, she was filled with an uncontrollable rage, and it smothered her soul. She ripped the ravens pecking at her to pieces, and then went after the soldiers. And when she finally caught up with them, she waited until nightfall like a hunter awaiting its prey. They say that when a raven cries, a man dies. And that's exactly what happened that night. Screeching and cawing, she killed every last living being in the camp. Both the soldiers and the civilians they'd enslaved. In her eyes, there was no longer a difference. The cruelty her friends had suffered. The pain and humiliation she'd endured. Hers was the distillation of the rage that decades of war had imparted on those soldiers. Mm. It was her strength. And her greatest weakness. You're something else, Snake. You managed to cleanse Raven of her rage. No, seriously. You're the seed of war. In fact, I'd say you might even be war itself. Draven. Maybe it's still too early to tell. You still got half the B&B core ahead of you. Keep your eye on the ball, pal. Alright, so I'll be stopping here, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye!